This is Pat the NES Punk, Pat Conchie. You're watching Nerd on YouTube. Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? Do you nerd for collecting? While we were in the St. Charles area, we had to take full advantage of our time with the Got G guys, and we lucked out. What did we find? We found a toy convention! Oh my gosh, Mo Game Con, pretty much 100% for me, and then they even had something they did. for Lady Lacey. It's like they knew I was going to be there, and they were like, what can Very we do for nice. her? And they had some nice vintage stuff set up, a lot of Masters of the Universe, some really great Ghostbusters toys. <laughs> My leg. Uh, and then some modern stuff, some good Marvel Legends and everything mm -hmm. that you had your eye on. I did. The funny thing is, <laughs> when we first started looking, I don't know about you, but I'm me, a little disappointed. I thought that it was like a super small convention because they had this hallway set up with all these toys. And we've been to plenty of smaller cons. Yeah. So, I mean, I was like, well, that's that's fine, you know, this this is fine for us. But I was like, oh, man, you know, we, we drug the guys over here and everything. Yeah. And it's a Paid shame that it can't be, it you know, like a big thing. To be fair, you even found some stuff in I that did. first hallway. In the first hallway, you? yeah. I found these neat little figures here. They're kind of random things. A Birdo from the chess set, a World of Nintendo Yoshi, a Luigi, I don't know what he's from, Thanks, bro. and then some of those like Fisher Tykes or whatever I think they are, like Fisher Price Tykes or something like that. I got a Han Solo and an Obi-Wan and a Joker and then a fun little Spider-Man. And I got these to go on a pirate ship I have. I thought it would be kind of fun to have like a hodgepodge like eclectic weird crew well, even though she still found something in this hallway robert was actually the one that came up to us and he was like hey guys there's another room <laughs> holy smokes we are talking two stories the upper yeah. level uh was mostly reserved more for artists Which but there was some is, yeah. cool stuff up there the lower level it was table after table booth upon booth Old uh, toys, new toys. Yes, yeah, some of the high-end collectible statues that uh -huh. people really like. Stuff uh, that I hadn't seen and totally forgot were toys since I was a kid. Yeah. It was like a fun like memory lane trip. So we were having a lot of fun just looking around. All of us kind of split off and, and we're going down the aisles at our own speed, trying to check stuff out, see what we could find. Here you see one of the members of the Bruo Duo gaming off the grid. Looking to expand his collection. You have to be very careful because you don't want him to see you as he may spook easily. Uh, we actually did see a couple of booths of people that had been at Mo Game Con. We did. Yeah, I recognize some of the stuff there. I did find some game stuff just for fun. I I picked up a couple of demos. They were very cheap, uh, one for a buck and one for two dollars. But it's always a lot of fun for me to collect demo discs because it's such a piece of gaming history. Yeah, it is. Obviously, you don't do demo discs anymore. All those demos are digital. You download them, yeah. whatever. I can honestly say that was probably the majority of my game collection, just collecting all the demos because they were free usually. You found a table. That I did, and kept I actually you busy for a while. I saw it. <laughs> I saw it from across the room. I literally did. I was like two aisles away and I looked, I just happened to look up and I went, oh, mini figs. Tractor beams. Tractor beam. <laughs> it was funny too, because I think I was talking to either Robert or Wes and I was like, I gotta go. <laughs> I took off running because I know that it will take me a while. So I was, you know, I had to get over there because I have to look at each figure individually to make sure I want it or don't have it. I got me a fun little Doctor Strange. And this one is a little different because most of the time when they've got capes, they're usually like a vinyl or something. And this is actually a, a hard, hard plastic, plastic one. Interesting. I also got, speaking of, see, this is a good example of the vinyl cape. I got 
end games Thor, and he's got his bearded, braided so big beard. Lebowski yep. Thor. <laughs> yep, but he's he's got a good body, so that's okay. Oh, nice. So the next figure I got was Jim Carrey the Mask. Nice. Because we've actually been on a Jim Carrey kick lately, thanks to Got G, and I have never seen a mask, so I thought that was kind of fun. Somebody stop me! It's another one that I don't really see too often. I got Lady Death. And I've never actually read her comics, but I like her toy. Her toy looks really cool. So um, I don't know. That minifig makes her look a little too flat on the front. It's not a very good representation. <laughs> <laughs> and I got another figure. Hey, uh, is that Nick Cage? Hey, it is Nick Cage. It's another kind of inside joke between Gaji. We had a lot of fun. We were playing Marvel Ultimate Alliance, and he was telling us that I got this really cool badass character and we couldn't figure out who he was talking about and then he was like he's been a, a movie you know and we're like he's like Nick Cage and we're like you mean Ghost Rider? He goes no Nick Cage! So it's kind of funny so it was an inside joke but the figure actually looks pretty cool I mean his hair's on fire his bike has got like that clear to look like it's on fire and he's got his you know fire chain so it's still a cool looking character. You suck it, evil Ernie. And I know I already got one at Branson Con, but this link actually looks a lot better than that link. <laughs> well, excuse me, princess. So this actually looks like him. The shield and the sword actually look correct. So I had to get him. Old Link versus new and improved better Lego Link. Goodbye, crappy old Link. Hello, new good Link. And then last, I got a fun, like, zombie shark. He just was neat. I like the color. I'm very much into this, like, blue color right now. And, and he was just really neat looking. And the guy was talking about how he likes to, when he's, like, displaying them, he'll always put, like, a Jack Sparrow in here. Nice. So I figured it might be fun to have, like, you know, just throw some different people in there every once in a while. Just be like, <laughs> woo! It's zombie jaws. Zombie jaws. That's the next movie right there. Oh, he just puked her out. <laughs> Yeah, let me tell you uh, real quick, I had to pretty much grab her and wrestle her away from the Lego yeah. minifigs or she would not have seen the rest of this convention. We've got no, Magneto we from work here, like, all the way over here and, and making and Wolverine's Claws out. bend. I actually found a couple of more games. I got all four of these for $5. You can't do the $5 challenge again. I, I was going for it. <laughs> so I got Lagaya 2, which is complete nice. and nice, even in a PS2 case oh, with that memory card holder. Nice. I went ahead and got Final Fantasy XI, the Chains of Promethea, Promethea expansion pack. At this point on PS2, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to be able to use this but for such a cheap price to have it in the collection. And then Guilty Gear X, fantastic fighting game. Again, complete, and all of the, the discs were in very nice shape, so I could not resist. Now, the only one that wasn't complete was Samurai Showdown 3. Aww. It does have the, the uh, outer card, but it doesn't have the booklet. Still a great fighting game, always fun when you get some buddies. The next thing I picked up, which, uh, I saw it and I, I just I was drawn to it because I like my spider people. This was actually really cool. I got this for twofold. One, it's Spider-Man. We're going to ignore the fact that it's from the bad Spider-Man movie. <laughs> the thing that I liked about it was you can grapple down off of this thing and come back up. But you can either clamp it onto something or hang it off of the wall on a hook. The other thing that's cool is what's hanging onto him is like a cuff. So if I wanted to change out this Spider-Man, I could put like Spider-Gwen or Spider-Ham. Go Web, go! This definitely feels like the kind of toy that Marcello would have in his toy room. Yeah. So if you if you already have it, how, how about a picture to show? Yep, I'm already got there, guys. I got it. <laughs> now he just looks like he's handcuffed to the stone oh. thingy. It's super crazy to me to see some of my Marvel figures going for so much. 
I didn't pay 80 for her or 80 for her. That's real crazy. Oh, really? I think I've got my Something kind of neat that us and the Got G guys noticed was that actually Pat Contry, Shady J of the Game Chasers, and Gaming Historian Norm were actually at the toy convention. It was just kind of cool seeing yeah, them out and about, especially since Mo Game Con was a one day convention. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I thought Sunday they would have been on the road headed home and everything. So it was kind of nice to, you know, see that they still get out there and, and hunt in the wild. There so that was kind of cool. Yeah. It's kind of fun. <laughs> now, however, at this point, this is where the story gets a little sad because gaming off the grid, they told us, hey guys, you know, we are going to have to head out. They did that have was, a long that was, drive. That was sad. We ran out into, you know, a less noisy area than the floor and we said our goodbyes, we gave some hugs, we wished them well, told them to be safe as a good, you know, mom and dad in YouTube should. But, uh, Buckle it, your seatbelts and drive the speed limit. And once they were gone, we, we headed back in to kind of close out this con and see what else we could find. We did come across this one table that was really kind of neat. It was a collector who was basically liquidating his collection. Everything on the table was five bucks. And so the lovely Mr. Tom here bought me a toy. I have no idea who or what it is, but she just looked really cool. Yeah. She's really neat from Web Witch. I have no idea what that is. I apologize if anybody else knows what that is and they're like, oh my gosh, how do you not know what that is? So I think she definitely needs to come out of there. All right, nerdlings. Well, she is out of there. Holy cow, she has stuck. She's got legs. She does. She's got legs for days. And look at those, like, I guess they're high heel boots without the heel on it. Space on. boots. She's a uh, very. We, I still don't know who or what she is, but she's cool. She's got spots. Do you want to go up to my quarters and count oh. my spots? <laughs> so not a lot, not a of, lot of articulation, but she does come with a stand. Oh, there's a spider on there. I don't like it. I think she's mostly meant to just stand and then look pretty. Is this the blue lady from The Fifth Element? Is this like her teenage this is, daughter? This is what she looks like underneath all that get up. Oh, you know, I picked up a toy too, actually. But it's not even for us. I'm going to send it to someone. So I don't want to ruin the surprise. So this is all don't you get. Don't ruin the surprise. <gasps> That's and it. We're no not going to ruin the surprise of who it's for either, are nope, we? No. Not yet. So, woo. All right, what else do you have? One more thing? One last thing. I got it right before we left. And luckily they were able to make a deal with me. So I got it for $5 less than what they were asking for. But I got me this giant oh my Yoshi. Gosh. Isn't that adorable? He's like bigger than my head. He's pretty cute. But isn't he so freaking cute? He's huge. He's got a big old head. His little... I just love him. He's so squishy. <laughs> and I got a lot of compliments walking around because he wouldn't fit in my bag. So I had to hold on to him. And I was like, I love your Yoshi. And I was like, yeah, thanks. Me too. Here we go. <laughs> <Nice>. <laughs> That's just creepy. I've got one more thing. This one comes with a little bit of a it story, does guys. Come with a story. She told me that there was a table with some games. As soon as I went over there, I'm kind of quickly peering over the games. Once I saw this, I picked it up and did not let it go because it was a very good thing. Unless it was going to cost stupid money, I was buying this. <laughs> Something that I don't see very often, ever, never out in the wild, usually not online, are Worlds of Power books. And something I have really never seen is one of these little collections. So, uh, you know, a lot of times you have like the books that you buy a collection, they come with that, just that cardboard sleeve and everything. So that's what I found. And inside were four books. Number one, you have Blaster Master. Number two, Metal Gear. Metal Gear. Number three, Ninja Gaiden. And number four is Castlevania II. Simon's Quest. Uh, something kind of neat, just real quick to point out. Two of these books have uh, little inserts that have cards. The cards have been punched out, but are still, yeah, there. still there. So that's kind of neat. Obviously, whoever had these kept them all together and intact. The spines aren't really messed up. Uh, it looks like they were probably red, but otherwise they were taken really good care of. It probably helps that the books were clearly left in here all the time because this is a little more beat up than the books themselves. So here's the story. 
while I'm looking at the games and everything, like I said, I picked this up, I did not put it down. I asked the lady what she wanted for it. She said 40. And I started thinking, you know, I usually see these online kind of starting at like the $7 range and quickly going up. And there's four books, that's a pretty fair price. But she did mention that she might uh, have a little bit of wiggle room there, especially if I could bundle with something. So I started looking over the games, nothing was really popping out at me. I'm about to tell her, you know, I think I'm just gonna stick to this and see if she would give me, you know, like maybe $35 or something. Guess who walks up? Pat Contrary. He had quite an eye too. <laughs> he saw this in my head and he goes, oh, hey, what'd you find there? I show it to him. He's like, oh, nice. What'd you get it for? I told him we were still negotiating a price and his ears perked up. He goes, oh, <laughs> negotiating. So uh, I think that Pat was hoping that I was going to put this down. He might have been hoping that I would just set it down, you know, to look at something else so he could quickly grab it. But uh, he was very interested in it because he kind of uh, hung out there. He hovered by me real close. I mean, like real close for a while while I'm and norm and jay they were even asking them they're like hey you know there's an upstairs do you want to go check it out he's like oh just a minute just a minute and they're like what are you doing man he's like just go out without me i'll be there in a minute i think he was really really hoping that i you'd think just decide so. that you didn't want it and he wasn't gonna let anybody else get it right the point is this is definitely the kind of stuff that you know collectors look for um i didn't hear him ask the lady but i could hear her saying to him I'm asking 40, 40 for it. So he had asked her, uh, you know, again, if I put it down, he wanted to make sure that he could grab it because you just don't see these mm -hmm. out in the wild, especially if you get these. I mean, you usually have to find them online. Pat knows his he stuff. Does. Well, clearly he only wrote a book about it. <laughs> oh, uh, just, just a you know, little book. <laughs> maybe another one other way. It was, oh, he's expecting? Well, congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> so it was really cool, you know, to be able to find something that someone with his Nintendo knowledge base, you know, was also interested in because it is that excitement of, oh good, you know, I did find something good. Mm -hmm. And just the simple fact that to kind of bring this all back around, of all the stuff that we found at Mo Game Con and the, the fun times that we had there, we happened across this toy convention. Yeah. And you know, just so looking around, we, we hit it up on a whim and to find something this neat and to be able to add it to the collection was really cool because I'm actually looking forward to reading these mm -hmm. just to see the the fun in it. They're d certainly in a good home. I hope you guys they know. They are in a good forever so, home. So this was a lot of fun. Some really great the other Thanks. kind of really neat thing was Pat actually recognized us. He did. He, uh, while, while he was, you know, kind of hovering around, you know, hoping I'd set this down, he did kind of lean into me and he's like, hey, you were at the con, weren't you? And I was like, yes, I was. He was, it was a lot of fun, wasn't it? And I was like, yeah, it was a really good show. So, you know, that was kind of mm -hmm. nice. Yep. Maybe a certain dust sleeve helped uh, jog his memory Maybe. because I did have my Do You Nerd shirt on. So. Yep. So I can honestly say this toy convention was a whole lot of fun. Um, it was right up my, not that I didn't have fun at Mo Game Con because I totally did. I enjoyed all the video games and stuff, but this was a little bit more in my wheelhouse. Well, you know, nerdlings, what it goes to show is whenever you do make a trip, be sure to look around in that area. Mm -hmm. One of the things we often push is that awareness. Check local events, see what else yep. is going on, take advantage of the time there. Something nice about Mo Game Con was that it was a one-day convention, which gave us all day Sunday yep. to go out and do some game hunting and to hit up this toy convention yes. and to find some cool stuff. So make sure you're always checking and keeping an ear out. And, uh, all right, well, I've got some books to read. I've got and some toys to play some with. some games to play when I need a break from a book. Maybe I'll read a book, play a game, read a book, back and forth like that. <laughs> so leave a like if you happen to like the video. Definitely drop some comments down below on what you think, especially if you've read any of the books, played any of the games, or are familiar with the toys, like the lady in blue. Yeah, tell me what the heck she's from. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, be sure to subscribe hit that notification bell as well as like us on facebook twitter and instagram so that you can see what me and yoshi are gonna do after this and uh hit us up over there on t public because we've got merchandise over there and nerdlings if we like it we nerd it for for books for yoshis hey look it's a sandwich you know what i am a hungry bookworm <gasps>
Oops. That was not what I meant to do. Arthur's heads are falling off! Oh, he's he's sleepy. Yeah, uh, <laughs> His beard fell I, off. I gotta sleep this one off, Doc. Excuse me, gentlemen. What time is it? P-A-R-T-Y. Cause I gotta! Let you finish playing with yourself. Sorry, I don't think I was, you realized you were doing I was it. scratching my head. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> yes, sir. Now. Sorry. I was clearing my throat. <laughs> Tell me when you're ready. I'm ready. Okay, I'll do this one. Hey, hey, stop trying to find things to hump. Super cool, and um, there's some neater, n not neater, but also neat figures on the back of it.